Hello everyone, I'm back again with another update of my uh, gallery, my home gallery. Here's as it looks from distance. My sink tank uh, is doing very well. The shrimps are doing well. I added, unfortunately, unfortunately, again, I said I added three uh, snails in here just to keep it clean, but uh, two of them had uh, decided to check the surrounding area, so I need to, I, I moved them to another tank. I have one only left now, and I'm observing it, hopefully that it will not jump out again. Otherwise, it's doing well. The hexagon, Uh, most of the plants are doing the, well. The uh, unfortunately, the uh, the moss on the on the wall is not doing that good, but otherwise everything is okay. My jar is doing great. It's almost a year now. I just keep trimming it. That's all, and then close the jar again. My three domes. And my mini ones. My mini ones also have lots of uh, moss growth here and here. Also in my uh, first dome, as you, see, you notice, it's all fresh growth everywhere. The moss is doing well, most of the areas. The second one as well, if you just notice that, the growth is beautiful. I like it. The only thing I dislike is that uh, the structure I made, the main structure I made, was a bit big for the uh, for the uh, dome glass and maybe I will again change it to a smaller one where I have more space for the plant to grow. My last dome, the one I just finished two days ago, I covered the whole structure with uh, sheet moss. Uh, unfortunately the moss I had is, uh, has been in my store for almost like three to four months so the condition of the moss is not that good. The best I could get out of it is the one I have here. I let it grow a bit for a, for a while before uh, start trimming and reshaping it again so I, I, to reach the main shape I want. Beside, I added uh, a stem plant inside as a tiny or short and tall, tall uh, stem plant I added inside that comes all the way from the top here. It is also doing well. Uh, my other terrarium, as I mentioned before, I have this uh, plant that throws a lot of uh, seeds everywhere and the whole terrarium is full of a small uh, seedlings or plants that they grow out of the main one, the only single one I had. So I'll, I'm using it for future work where I'm going to take them out, separate them and put them in different terrariums. My fishbowl terrarium, if I could move the, the cover for you to see for you to see better inside, is doing great. I have good growth of the moss inside. Now now let me put the light back. I have both sheet moss and the cup moss is doing great. I have growth everywhere. I added a few of these if you notice. I ordered those online and I, uh, I kind of like them. So I added them places in the rock, here and there on the step I made. And they just complement the whole thing, I think. My uh, other paludarium, it's doing also good. I bought around 15 snails, Narai snail that I added. I kept them here, if you just notice them. They're all at the bottom. Uh, just a, as a holding tank until I move them to the main one where I'm coming next, I'm going to talk about next. But the growth is beautiful. I, I just added another light here just to have more, a more uh, brighter light for the plant. And I think it's doing good. All system run. Again, I did not have the chance to work on my, my vivarium yet. I need to finish my main one to come back to it. I'm changing all the moss here at the bottom if you notice. Because of the over moist, some of it started rotting. 
some of the plants need to be changed. The Ficus pemela on the top, as you see, it took over the entire ceiling of the vivarium. I need to cut it back again. So, uh, in order to have more light penetration. Now, I go to the main one. Here it is. And as I mentioned, uh, my sheet moss, unfortunately, is not in a good condition. The ones I have here are very bad. Uh, fortunate for me, I'm uh, receiving a shipment of uh, cushion moss tomorrow and uh, another shipment of uh, sheet, uh, two baskets of sheet moss on Wednesday. So I will have it all covered. Uh, the plan again, as I said, that the whole wall here, the background will be covered by sheet moss. Uh, I ordered some other type of moss that I received and I'm placing just in a specific areas. I planted the whole ground with sheet moss, with other uh, plants that I have. So this is how it looks now. I still need to add more plants, including the, uh, the sheet moss. I had moss, uh, java moss, placed in the two streams. Uh, I have some java fern and some other aquatic plants like anubias that, I, that will, will go at the bottom. It will go all over here. Uh, having it, I'm just thinking it over that if I could, if, uh, maybe I will add a line of uh, AD Amazonia at the back, top it with the, uh, with the deco sand, uh, just to cover it up, and have it have this planted with uh, maybe Monte Carlo. Part of it will uh, to have uh, planted or uh, carpeted. Uh, section of it. I'll see. I have I have a couple of cups of Monte Carlo in space, so I might I might do that. Or otherwise, it will be just uh, white deco sand or beige deco sand, and then some rocks uh, uh, and wood that will have some uh, like Anubias and Java fern, as I mentioned before. Otherwise, I had these. If you see these stems, dry wood that uh, they're dec deco wood that I have for a while. I will, I'm just playing with them to see how they, fall, uh, they fill in. I will add some roots coming out of them in certain areas to give it more natural look. Uh, then, uh, then stick them back again once I have the, the sheet moss covering the whole wall. Again, I added some of my mini homes. And here is where the genie sets to read its book. Uh, all the system is running smooth. The, the two streams are doing well. I had some overflow on the sides that I fixed. I added some, I added some more height on the side here. Uh, uh, I had a suggestion from somebody to add some, to streamline it or to have more like natural look. So I added this bump here and here just to curve it out and one here to curve it and maybe to uh, it gives it a better look than just a flat or straight line i'm adding things as they come uh, be it uh, aquatic moss land moss sheet moss and plants and as soon as i get uh, in hold of something better i will start adding them uh, added to just now, for half an hour ago, I put this uh, surface uh, skimmer on the side. It just connected temporarily to an extension outside. So, uh, while I was filling it in with the, uh, with the peat moss, I had some debris that fall into the water and the, they were floating everywhere. So I, had it, I added the uh, surface skimmer, the skimmer just to, to clear the, the surface of the tank. And it, it is, I mean, it, I added like half an hour ago and it is already very, very clear if you, if you see. Uh, let me just run for a second the sprinkler system. And here we go. A 
usually I have this door closed, but I mean, I just want to show you how, how the thing ran here. And it runs beautiful. It covers the entire wall. Uh, I adjust them accordingly to the areas where I want to I want to cover or concentrate more, or to have it flat out to cover the entire wall, as you see. So I expect another maybe a week that everything will be complete, including the uh, the foreground that will be planted or whether it will be ADA Amazonia or just deco sand with some ferns at the bottom. Uh, my other vivarium or paludarium or whatever you want to call it, it's doing well, the growth is crazy. I mean, I keep cutting these, uh, what they call them, vulgaris something, and I they keep growing again. And, and including inside, if you just notice, become like a jungle plants everywhere. I need to adjust the stream a bit because it's becoming weak, the flow because of the uh, the plant. So I need to just slightly adjust it to have more flow in it. Uh, my uh, sky, uh, sky they call it, aquascape sky, the small one. I started having some growth in certain areas of the moss. I still need to do some more with it, but I, I had to put it on a stop and go and do the, the main one again. But otherwise it's doing good. I'm doing water changes, that's all what I'm doing. And here are some of my live plants, some of which I'm using for the terrarium and the paludarium, and some are just because I like plants my, with my green wool and my other terrarium, paludarium, vivarium in the center, if you see. So this is for today, uh, I've been busy for this week because I, as soon as I finish doing my, doing my, uh, my room or my studio or my gallery, I started renovating the entire house, so I, it's like a workshop outside, uh, until yesterday I had scaffolding everywhere, uh, they finished the the wall painting today, the entire house. I have a, lots of lighting to be fixed in there and, and some more painting tomorrow and the day after with the, with the fence and the wall. Oh yeah, and I, I bought this secondhand stand, stainless steel stand, I'm gonna paint into white and replace one of the stands I have. It's good, it's almost two meters high with around two meters in width, so I could put some of my plants, some of my tanks and terrarium on it. It's a, th a three story or three shelves. Probably the top will be for my storage and the bottoms, the two, the bottom and the middle one will be for, for tanks and other things. So, this is my day in a nutshell. I have contractor coming at six in the morning every day and leaving by six in the evening, so and it's only after that time that I have time to work on my, on my tanks. Otherwise, I'm just running everywhere with them. I wish you a good day, good evening or good morning, wherever you are. Thank you very much for joining me. And I'll meet you again soon. Thank you.